What? Talk about a major nosh fact finding. Start over. This is Yun with Nosh Finder here. Here at Nosh Finder, we bring you unique snacks from around the world, break down those flavor profiles, and stay till the end because we're gonna give it a Nosh Finder rating to determine whether you should try it or not. If you haven't subscribed yet, click the subscribe button down below so you can be notified on when the next snack is revealed. In this episode, we'll be reviewing another unique snack from Japan. It's gonna be corn puff cabbage taro chips from this brand called Yaokin. Sounds pretty weird. It's kind of like a bunch of different vegetables all put together into a chip. I'm not really sure. Let's do some research and find out. So I had to do some extensive research to figure out this chip and why there's so many vegetables that are in this chip itself. And it turns out that there's neither any cabbage, no taro, and in the snack at all. So what? So Kayo Betsu Taro is actually Taro being a common Japanese male first name. And rumor has it that this frog's name on this package might be Taro or a pun on a Momo Taro, which is a popular hero figurine. And Yaokin is actually a Japanese manufacturer that mainly makes snacks for children, which includes corn snacks like these and candies. I actually haven't tried this particular brand before and it's the first time I actually heard of it. According to the brand, there seems to be various opinions about why the product name includes the word cabbage. The company says that one of the reasons is that the corn puff snack looks like a little cabbage or Brussels sprout. Cabbage taro was actually released in 1964 and has become a popular corn puff snack characterized by its okonomiyaki sauce flavor. Okay, so it has okonomiyaki sauce. Talk about a major nosh fact finding. So okonomiyaki is a descendant of Worcestershire sauce. It is far sweeter and less salty than its British ancestor. Okonomi sauce's main ingredients is dates and uses raisins for a milder, sweeter flavor and has a bit of sourness, but it's not too overpowering. It's a much thicker sauce than traditional Worcestershire sauce and it's poured over these griddled savory pancakes with a wheat flour based batter called okonomiyaki. So with this background and clearing the confusion for any type of vegetables at all, and the only vegetable that's actually part of the snack is actually the corn puff, and with some of the okonomiyaki sauce, let's try it out. If I look at the front of the bag of chips, it's in Japanese, but it actually says Kia Betsu Taro. And the has this really cute little frog character in the front, which is kind of like why it's for children. Um, but all in all, it's super cute. Um, and if I look at the back, the back actually says that kind of similar with the little image and um, it has a little English label because I got it from here. And it actually says it has corn, non-GMO, vegetable oil, sauce, sugar, seaweed, spices, MSG, and caramel coloring. And it's, it's good that we did research because sauce doesn't really mean anything. And at least I did the research is probably going to be that on okonomiyaki sauce. So let's try it out and let's see how it tastes. Take that. Okay, let's do it this way. Mmm, you can smell the smell already when you actually open it. All right. So um, if I look at the chip, it's it is a corn puff, but it's actually really really puffy. It looks very airy and it has a lot of brown little spices and flecks of seaweed in it. It's so light and puffy. I'm pretty sure you can finish the bag because it feels very um, non-guilty. Mmm. So um, based on the okonomiyaki description, it does have that okonomiyaki sauce smell, like a little bit of that Worcester tang that kind of hits your nose. So let's try it out. Hmm. Oh, it's really good. Oh, it's really, really good. Oh my God, I'm like a kid. It was just like, has like, it's a light, puffy, airy corn um, puff. Kind of like when you have those, um, uh, cheese balls or cheese puffs. It's kind of just like that, but even lighter than that. It's a nice little crunch to it, but then 
it has like a great mix of flavors. So it's a little sweet from, I guess, the corn and also a little bit of that sugar. Um, that okonomiyaki sauce taste that gives that a little bit of that tang. It's a nice savory taste to it. And a little bit of seaweed just to throw it into a little bit of a more of a umami type of taste. So it's actually really good. Kind of complex for a kid's um, snack, but very good. And I'm glad it's such a big bag because I can actually eat more of these. So I would give this chip a Nosh Finder rating of 4 out of 5. It's crispy, airy, but it does have a bit of greasiness and the uniqueness of the flavor is not fully unique, but it tastes pretty good. Thanks again for joining me today on Nosh Finder. Leave a comment below on what type of snacks you want to see next. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please support our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Nosh Finder. Check out my other videos too. And see you guys next time on the next Nosh Finder.